afternoon folks. I've got 30 minutes so I thought I'd go over what I've been painting recently. I've done a lot of Napoleonics because I'm after, well, tweaking some rules for the men who would be kings, those colonial wargaming rules, because I thought those would work well for Napoleonics. Um, I came across a guy that has been adjusting a couple of different things to make it fit into Napoleonic skirmishing suitable for the Peninsula War really. I'm really after, you know, sort of sharp TV series or the books, you know, those kind of um, games and I could take things from the books and just make those into some cool scenarios. I really like that theme rather than the Waterloo campaign. I have had a couple of good games down the club of the Waterloo campaign, but that's more for black black powder big battles. But for these I just wanted something smaller, so singly based models. So I think you've seen my Swiss before, but they're all based up as uh, multi-based, sorry. So yeah, I thought I'd show you some of these. They paint up quite nicely, they're the Perry plastics again. I had these left over from doing my Swiss infantry. The only thing I haven't done on these is the gun barrels. And I need to do the gun straps. I'd appreciate what you guys think about the the white on them. I'm happy with the white. I've brought it up to quite a good colour with working up from a light grey. But I'm considering putting a brown wash on it just to make it pop a little bit. My homemade wash is quite subtle. It's not going to be in your face. So I think, what do you guys reckon? It is that... Is it, should I leave it the solid white or put the brown wash on there as well? Um, so if you just drop a message in the comments below and I'll um, have a little think after that. He's a grenadier. The brown wash would be quite nice on the gold because it gives it kind of a burnished sort of colour. Yeah, the white is quite sort of parade ground at the moment. The blue I'm happy with though, Martin down the club was suggesting uh, Prussian blue, so I picked up a bottle of that and that's a very nice dark blue. I had been mixing all my dark blue by just using the layer of blue and then adding black into it, which works but it's lovely to have a ready made one. <coughs> These are the British officers for the Peninsula War, and well command pack I should say. And these have been done from a black primer rather than a grey primer, which I have been using more recently. I did these over the summer and I'm coming back to them now. Um, I think someone who uses a black primer on YouTube, I thought it was Liberator, but I was just watching Liberator's uh, French showcase this morning and he is actually doesn't look like he got, works from a black primer because he uses uh, washes and things. But yeah, I, I was toying with uh, working from a black private primer over the summer, and you can probably see that. So there's quite a stark contrast. But yeah, I think it's actually Leon on YouTube. You can really see that in his painting, and well, he makes it really work for his stuff. But I'm I'm leaning towards um, just grey primer at the moment, and doing a lot of layer painting and washes and things. But I, I am happy with how these ones turned out with the black black primer. Especially the drummer. It's just a bit of an excuse to go all out, isn't it? One of my pet peeves is um, rucksacks, the haversacks. I, I haven't done them on these French at all yet. I think I'm going to do them on um, bottle caps and do four or five of them blue tack to a bottle cap and just do them in batches. And then because these are all plastic figures, I'll just scrape the backs, score them a little bit and just plastic glue them right at the end when everything's painted and varnished. That'll just be one of the last steps and then I can base everything up then with some grass. I've done some nifty little, um, well, casualties, casualty figures. Um, this is like some plastic card I had left over from an old box. They're like those separators that give you the organizing toolboxes and things. So just a sort of 
thin plastic card, but good enough for some markers. Had these left over from um, uh, Ken down the club sold me a huge box uh, or a shoe box of uh, Victrix and Perry metals, and I think I got a real good deal off him because there's the contents of like three Victrix um, plastic boxes of um, so that's like what. <laughs> There's an awful, probably in excess of a hundred figures, uh, not including the metals as well. But yeah, I've painted up four of these casualties and different coloured pom poms for different companies as well. So, sounds so odd saying uh, pom poms in for a military formation, but they did have them. And then these then are the Voltigeurs. I've been doing research on Voltigeurs. The yellow isn't very bright yet, but I haven't given them the final highlights. I've just laid the base colours on the, what do you call them now, facings and the epaulettes. And again, the barrels aren't done yet. But you get the gist. I really like the Perry figures. So when those are all painted up, I'll have um, a unit of, I think I'll put these in a unit of ten in the menu, well, my adaption of the menu, menu would be Kings. Um, I shouldn't call it my adaption, the one I'm using. I'll be tweaking and some sort of home brewing some rules for it. Uh, skirmishers, oh, oh sorry, we usually got it lower than that. The skirmishers, I'm going to paint up lots more of these. I'll show you, show you these now, sorry, on the right. Yeah, so that's two of them, but the rest of them, I was very short on skirmishers. So I've dipped into the Victrix box, and there's just ample amounts of action poses for skirmishing. These are much better for skirmishing. The French Perry box only offers, I think it must be eight skirmishers, but the Victrix ones you can get away with a lot more, because rather than painting them up as grenadiers, I've done them as Voltigeurs. These aren't finished yet, folks, but at least... I've done the gun barrels and the gun straps on these. As you can see, the uh, rucksacks are probably the final thing that I get around to doing. My more interesting thing that I've done with these, rather than just used Victrix, I've um, converted them. So these are sort of plain Victrix figures, but quite a few of them I've swapped the heads on them. I've used the Perry heads, which are like fatigue caps, and I really like these. They fit a treat. I was very surprised that Victrix and Perry are this close. I'm not sure what you think, but they're just spot on. And, um, you know, slicing off the old heads, <laughs> there's nothing lost there. The head system for Victrix and Perry is the same, so they just fit clean to the body. And that neck piece is inbuilt to the head rather than the other way around. You don't have the um, the facings on the body, if that makes sense. A lot of um, Perry figures are just one piece, at least for the Napoleonics, and then they come with spare heads. A lot of the spare heads are fatigue caps, and there's one I used on the on the Voltigeurs. I'm not sure if I can find an example off the top of my head. Oh, here's one. This is a guy with a Perry head rather than a Victrix head. Um, you might just be able to pick up a bullet hole in the uh, Shaco. That's a Perry head. The Perry heads also include um, as a retreat from Moscow theme as well, if you want to convert to your, um, these ones, or, of course, in, um, or, or Victrix ones as well, into a sort of, into the Russian campaign. Yeah, there's a lot of potential there, guys, and I've done some casualty markers as well. Some wounded fellas, I'd probably go in with a bit of blood on them. These aren't finished, as I said, guys, they're just a couple of ideas. And this one's got another fatigue cap from Perry. There's a lot of things that can be done with these plastics. Just a bit of mess messing around. 
if, if there's any um, obvious um, gaps, you can always use plastic putty or some green stuff as well if you want to sculpt in some extra details. This is a in the process uh, casualty figure. It's just made myself. I really like the idea of making casualty figures for these games. They look so much nicer than a glass bead or um, a similar marker. And he's already struck in by some stray bullet. So yeah, that's about it for now, folks. I've got one last thing to show you. Tomorrow night I'm um, trying out a new rule set with the guys down the club called Eagle Rampant. It's a mod fan modification, we should say, of Lion Rampant. And it's for the Caesar's Gallic Wars. I've painted up a warlord or a chieftain specially for the occasion. He would be also be my saga warlord as well. I think he's a, one of the official saga models. He might be King Meredith. I'm not 100% sure. The fur, I think I've kind of stuck on a, a method of painting fur. Uh, chocolate brown and then dry brush it with more of a khaki type colour or something like English uniform. And that comes out quite nicely. I painted this guy up last night because I already had him painted up a uh, primed black. Did the chainmail helmet and axe a uh, previous time I did a huge batter, batch of uh, miniatures that had armour on them. But I'd left them so I, last night I just went in to do the skin, the cloth and other areas. And it only took me 30 minutes I think. But he's come out really nicely and he's ready to ambush a Roman legion tomorrow night. So yeah, that's it for now folks. Just wanted to show you those French that I've been working on. Those will be some good opposition for my Sharps rifles, I think. And I desperately want to make a big order from Brigade Games in America, but uh, funds aren't sort of mustered yet, but I'm tempted to sell off my British and Polish Airborne and hopefully that will justify a, a big shipment from America. <laughs> so I've got that in the back of my head at the moment. But yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you again soon. ta -da.